questions. Can you uh, reflect back a little bit, Khalil, on the performance and, and the honors and all that stuff that uh, came along with it? Yeah, um, I mean, it's all, it's all a blessing. I was really excited, you know, to, to win Mac defense East, Mac East Defense Player of the Week. Uh, I mean, but during the game, I was just, you know, doing my assignment, just trying to get to the ball, trying to help my team win the game. Uh, and I, I couldn't take credit for it without, you know, giving a huge thanks to the entire D-line. Ish, Jarrett, you know, all the linebackers, they do a great job. Cam had a great game, you know, so yeah, I, I can't just sit here and take credit for it all by myself. Your, your two defensive tackles, Ford and Brandon, um, flashed pretty good and played pretty well. Obviously, that benefits exactly. you when those guys are playing well. Can you talk about how those guys exactly. play in front of you? Most definitely. Um, Chris is he's a veteran guy, you know. Chris is a huge part of our defense, huge part of what we do um, as a team, really. So, you know, Chris is going to do what he does every game, day in and day out. And JB's kind of newer to the scene, but JB's J, 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 a great player, you know, and I think that he's going to do a lot of good for us this year, and I just I just can't wait to, to watch them guys do what they do. Obviously, there were some questions about stopping the run coming from last year, and I maybe think that you maybe had some of them as well, too. How much did you go towards answering some of those with the way you played against Minnesota? Um, I feel like as a defense, um, we, we moved to step in the right direction. You know, we're still not where we want to be yet. Um, we still, as a defense, we have goals each week, and we hit our goal for uh, yards per carry, which was 3.3. .3. Um, but like I said, we're not where we want to be yet. We know Army's a heavy run team, and I feel like this is another great test for us as a defense to see how far we've come along. Um, how do you prepare for a team like Army that, you know, had zero pass yards in the opener but mm -hmm. still managed to put up, you know, 500 offensive yards? Mm -hmm. How do you guys prepare for that? I mean, we know with the triple option, um, it's what they do. You know, we have to we have to stay true to our keys, you know, um, focus on our eyes, really. That's a, that's a big part of the game this week, just the mental aspect. Um, a lot of linebackers we have, you know, we, we saw this, off, this offense a year ago, so our game plan really hasn't changed too much. Um, and we just, like I said, we have to just trust our key, trust our eyes, and have to be unselfish players, especially this week. How much more comfortable are you preparing for Army having seen them and played against mm -hmm. them last year? Very, very confident. You know, it's only week two, but we feel like we have a, a bunch of film on them. You know what I mean? So uh, we're very confident. Uh, we know what they're going to do coming in. You know, we know, we know they're going to run the ball. And, we just have to be disciplined and, and get ready for a hard physical game. Lance, how much easier is it to prepare a team for Army when you get the benefit of having seen them two years in a row? Well, I, I think there's the, the benefit of, you know, knowing what they're going to do and, and knowing a little bit more on how you matched up a year ago, Paul. I, I think, uh, much like Khalil said, you, you, you have to understand that uh, it is unique. I think every coach around the country when they play – Army, Navy, or Georgia Tech, as as many probably saw last night, that it, it's one that that it, it takes you out of your regular routine and the extra part of uh, extra discipline and working on those things is always very important. But having the opportunity to play them last year, I think for all of us, helps some. But uh, this is an excellent football team. Uh, um, won eight ball games last year, beat their rival in Navy, won a bowl game right after that dominating win um, first week out. I don't know if uh, if uh, the last time Army football probably was at a, a level of confidence probably in which they are approaching the, this, this week right now is based on their success. And we also know last year was a very competitive game. I'm sure one that they felt slipped away from them and had an opportunity. And I'm sure that's going to be in the forefront of them as, as it's not going to be any extra motivation, but it's there. And and uh, and we've got a huge challenge ahead of us. How'd you how'd you feel like your team stopped the run in that game last year? As you look back on the film, well, I think a lot of the things that we we talked about, even that has to go in this week, you you have to uh, be assignment sound and disciplined, and 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 play well with your eyes, and don't get caught uh, thinking about anything else that may be uh, um, you know kind of window dressing, so to speak. Um, at the same time, you, you have to make sure in games like this that you tackle well. And uh, you can't get frustrated by the fact that they're going to move the ball. They're going to eat up clock. Um, um, possessions may be limited. But at the same time, being sound in these things are going to be part be of it. Because, you know, we've had the opportunity, I think I said this last year at, at this at press conference as a staff and programs and Maybe there's a benefit sometimes, and there's been a few maybe, of uh, being at uh, 
lower levels of college football because you have an opportunity sometimes to see this offense a little bit more than than maybe you do at the FBS level and we have found that those those times come into play here where you have a chance that being sound and not giving up that big play because they'll lull you to sleep lull you to sleep they might have been 0 for 2 passing last week but there'll be another game this year they might be 4 for 5 for about uh, you know 200 yards because they'll, they'll they'll hit you on something so all those things will play part of it but uh, an exciting and, and another challenging opportunity right out the gate how often to follow up on your comment how often or maybe how much more often do you see the triple option and things like that at the division three level than you would up here I well mean, i think pretty coach, much the yeah. three teams that play it you yeah. already rattle them off well you know where you know where coach borland and i were at before there was a team that were ex- was exclusive uh um Wishbone for many, many years. Um, um, we we saw some in the playoffs, um, you know. So there there were times it wasn't like we hadn't had a chance to prepare for this type of scheme in the last, you know, 15 years or something like that. Or, or of course into this thing about this is it's much like when you step in, you know, when when, when you step le- levels, it's uh, better athletes. It happens faster. Things are there, but uh, true to form, they're very consistent in what they do. Your your team um, seemed very disappointed, as you might expect, with a loss after the game last week. What does that tell you that that it was noticeable that you went into a Big Ten stadium against a Big Ten team and your guys were mad that they didn't come out with the win? What does that tell you about the sort of the character of your team? Well, I think it shows that they have the proper mindset, that we're not into this to play close and there's not moral victories in it. Uh, we're going to continue to play hard. They know that their hard work is paying off, and um, they have to keep believing and believing in one another and what they've been doing and what we're doing as a staff and as a program. And And uh, I, I think the disappointment also was in, in all, all areas is that we had opportunities. We had opportunities. Um, I'm sure Minnesota is looking at the film as well and said they had opportunities to make it um, probably a bigger deficit uh, for us. But um, you, you look at those opportunities, what we had, um, you know, they, they controlled the clock the fourth quarter. We didn't get the ball. We didn't move the ball when, when we had our opportunities. All those things are there. We know it. And, uh, and, and though, they, though the players and staff are extremely disappointed, um, you know, I couldn't be more proud of the way we competed and things that we were maybe a little deficient on last year that we still have to get better on, but we had some explosive plays. We had a chance for a few more, and we did a good job of being physical and, and stopping the run. All those are good things to build on, but yet are still going to be a challenge this week. Khalil, same question to you about the mindset of your team after that game and what it, what you think it, it indicates moving forward. Yeah, um, just piggybacking on what Coach Leipold said, um, you know, as soon as, we got off, as soon as we got off the field, the first thing he said was, you know, we're not really in the moral victories, you know, but he, he couldn't be more proud of us. And, um, I mean, as a team, we kind of saw early on that, you know, we can, comp- we can compete with these guys. You know, that was our mindset going in and, once we kind of see it, you can kind of see the sideline really pick up and really get in, energized into the game. So, I mean, a loss is a loss. So it should hurt, you know, no matter who you're, who you're playing. You know, uh, we go out there to win win ball game. So this week, you know, we're excited to get back out on that field and, and show to them why we why we deserve our first win. Lance, how much does the uh, offensive game plan change from last year? You know, last year, it, you know, it took to the fourth quarter or the mm-hmm. end of the third, but you guys really got in a rhythm at the end there. We were able to rattle off, uh, I believe it was two touchdowns and then the field goal to win the game. Um, how much do you keep from last year? How much do you alter that? Well, f- philosophically, we're still very similar to what we're doing. I think we have just uh, different pieces of the puzzle of, of what we're doing. We're more experienced, obviously, at quarterback. Um, you know, it's still it, it's still going to be similar in what, we, what we're going to do. We much like last week and where we're at even a year ago, we, we have to continue to try to establish a, a running game, a better running game, a more consistent running game that's going to allow us. Um, we want to be aggressive. 42 passes, um, you know, we're comfortable with that, but it, it needs to be probably a little more balanced of, of where we want to be that in our rushing average. And, uh, and I think when you're able to do both, you keep defenses off, 
off balance and we have to do that so um again i think that's the, that's kind of where it's going to be i think there's no secret out there that we think anthony johnson's a pretty good football player and he has a chance to help us and it can be explosive i think we have other weapons on the outside that we also have to continue to get involved and i think once we get that uh, kind of on track and and kind of spread things out i think it's going to be an, an entertaining and uh, very effective offense that was our first chance to see Anthony in action. Is what we saw last week what you've been seeing from him over the last year or so? Yes, it has. And, uh, you know, it's it's one of those is when you, you know, I think we've talked in, in these settings before about redshirting him and being in there. But there there were times, you know, especially, you know, mid in the middle part of the year and you're trying to make decisions and you kind of look down on the scout team and he's making plays and, and, and you're kind of looking at it and, um um, you, you can see the kind of things that he can do for us. It's, it's exciting. But now, as I told him um, Sunday at our practice, I said, now, now it's on film for everybody. Now everybody's got that game. All right, so everybody's going to take a look on what they think they have to do to slow him down. Whether they they try to 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 put multiple people on him, get up in his face, do different things. The challenges are going to be there for him to be able to answer those things. And he has to approach practice each and every day to get better in, in all those scenarios. Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, but was there points in the game where Tyree locked in a little bit too much on Anthony? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really hear that on the headsets or, or thought that per se. I think guys are going to get get comfortable with someone they can get the ball to. Um, but uh, I know he had a lot of catches early. I, I can't say per se that that there was things. There's going to be times we're going to try to get him the ball. But uh, I, I think we also, have, like I said, have to uh, um, you know work the other guys into it as well. Otherwise, that that that'll make it a little bit more uphill for us. You talk a little bit about the play of Cam Lewis in the game. Yeah, you know, I said uh, another guy extremely proud of. I, I said not not just because he, <clears throat> excuse me, not because I mean that was a huge interception. First of all, I think we have to hit on that. Fourteen-seven, um, right before the half, they're going in to score, and they get the ball to start the second half. So if they go in at twenty-one-seven with the ball confidence and and where we're at mindset wise we we just spent a lot more of the half just making sure we're we're in a good state of mind to to compete now you go in there and make a huge play confidence is kind of starting to grow in, in the locker room about where we're at with this thing um but cam i, I thought you know, played extremely well you know if we put him back even in punt safe situations catch the ball he's he's just a talented football player but the thing i you know if People watch us play. Watch the way he plays the game. I, you know, I told our team uh, as well. When you watch him, uh, it, when it's time for him to go, he he's he's 100 miles an hour. He plays the game the way it should be. He plays with great enthusiasm. He's a sound tackler, uh, pound for pound. You know, you know, you, you you take a bunch of those, and that you know, on on our team. And I'm very proud of the way he played. Khalil, on your sort of coast-to-coast -to -coast, uh, tour of America here, um, this is a pretty historic place to play a football game. I don't know how much you have know about it, heard about it, been told about it, but but just comment on going to West Point and playing a football mm -hmm. game in, in one of the more notable stadiums in this country. Yeah, um, I, I've never been there for one, and I'm, I'm excited, you know. Um, I'm excited. That's really all I can say. I'm excited to get down there. I'm excited to see all the history behind it. But I'm also excited to play a football game too. So, um, what jumped out at you from watching some of the film from Army's first game uh, a couple of days ago? What you know, particularly about the quarterback and the way he he runs the ball, mm -hmm. and throws mm -hmm. the ball. Um, I mean, versus Fordham, uh, one thing that we saw, you know, they kind of they did a lot. They kind of did whatever they wanted. They ran the ball a lot, like you said. They only threw the ball twice, and they were both incomplete. So that says a lot about their rushing attack. And uh, we respect their game a lot. You know, we're going to be in the film room. Uh, day in and day out, but we've seen them play before. You know, our game plan, like I said, hasn't really changed too much. So we're excited to go out there and play confident and do what we do. Anything else for Coach or Cleo? Okay, thanks, guys. They're available for one-on-ones if you need.